Hi, it's the sisters. It's the sisters. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, you wake up in the morning and you think the day's going to go a certain way. And, and it doesn't. And sometimes that's a good thing because, you know, I, I think even the Bible says you can sit here and make plans. You could say tomorrow I'm going to do this today. I'm going to do this. But we don't know what our day holds. We right. don't know. We're not in control. And that's obvious with the events that have happened with our dear friends, family, neighbors and strangers that we don't even know with the terrible fires that have taken place here in Ventura County. And it's devastating. And it comes to it brings us to a place where you realize really nothing else matters. And so I am so blessed to sit here next to my sister because if we lost everything, but I still had you, yeah. I could move forward. And we're upholding our friends, um, Faith and Joey Parrish mm -hmm. in prayer. And um, it actually took me a couple of days to even to even um, respond on, on her Facebook because I just couldn't. And so, um, yeah, I know we, we woke up this morning. I was really charged and excited and, you know, just, you know, full of life and, um, you know, counting my blessings. And, you know, we had intentions of, you know, doing a live and answering questions from some of our members. And it just, just was weighing heavy on us. Right. I know. So if you could please, you know, pray for Joey and Fawn Parrish. And, and unbelievably, you know, they're asking us to pray for their neighbors as well. I think there was like 135, 137 homes that were burnt down to the ground. And, and I'm just so um, devastated not only because they are the most generous, beautiful, loving, God-filled, spirit-filled people, they would, yeah. yeah. They have literally done so much for so many, so many people, just generously giving whatever they have. And, and the meetings, I mean, I met her because I met her on Offer Up. And I don't, I don't even know her, and I've never met her, and I love her. And I think I love her through you, and mm -hmm. it's, it's just really touched me today. And yeah. I don't know why I'm like having a hard time. I know. I just. I, I know. I, I. I don't know. They're just such beautiful people, and um, and and this is where you know having faith. Faith is you know. Being sure of what you cannot see. And so, and I know that God works for the good, works everything out for the good of those who love him and according to his purpose. So I know that there's going to be something bigger and greater out of this. I, I do. And um, I not just, to yeah, minimize the fact it's so fact amazing that, because there's so, there's so many people that are so uh, spiritually filled. And I often wonder, and I think I said this to you, that... If something devastating, you know, happened to me, I hope and pray to God that I have that same faith and hope and spirit that so many people have. Yeah. Yeah. And it does, you know, we were talking earlier, too, just about how how we want to give, how we want to give back and how we want to contribute to something that makes a difference, to something that lives on, to a legacy, to how how have we made a difference in this world? And that's what I think of. Like when we're gone, what kind of mark did we leave? You know, <laughs> besides you know the kind besides of, all of your, you know, like extra my mess. Trash yeah, and <laughs> no, and I think about that, and I've been doing that for my daughter too. By the way, I've been doing that. Um, getting rid of stuff because it's like, do I want her to have to deal with my stuff? Because, yeah. you know, I have a problem with holding on. And just seeing um, Fawn, gosh, I don't even know what the date was, what, a month or two ago maybe, um, mm -hmm. where she invited, and she did it just for me. She oh said gosh. she did that one for me, a night of stories. And that's how I met her for the very first time, a night of stories. And she invites strangers to her house and feeds people, prays with people. And she spent the longest time with me 
after everybody was leaving to pray with me specifically on what I need and, you know, just direction. And, and I have a problem with letting go. And I told her that I really feel like this is my season. I know everybody says, well, let no, things go. Well, no, you've done a really good I, job. I have. I've oh let. Oh, my gosh. Yes. So I really am proud of I you. I know, because that has been a really painful thing. But to bring it back to circle, it's like, oh, I have to give up this and this and this. I've been giving my stuff away. And, and even the animals that I love, because I know it's too much at this point. When you have 15 parakeets flying around free, because <laughs> I didn't want them in a cage, in my bedroom, they I slept on the couch so that they could have my bedroom free flying and so anyway long story short is it's a another wake up call and a good reminder that when everything else is gone when everything and it doesn't matter and we're so I'll speak for myself like so attached to mm. things that I think mean so much to me but bottom line is yeah. if you don't have love you don't have family and friends you don't have the the support Nothing else matters. No, that's Nothing true. else matters. That's true. And so it's been very, very freeing. It's been very freeing um, letting things go. So, but I can't help but. Yeah. What and I just feel like it's so humbling. And I just feel like sometimes, you know, we always say, why did these things happen? Or why did God let these things happen? And sometimes I, I do believe for myself that sometimes it's a wake up call. You know, I think that sometimes we get too comfortable and, you know, it just makes me look around and, and be so much more grateful for not only just what I have or materialistic things, because yeah. that's not even yeah. that important to me anymore. Yeah. It's spending the time and moments with people that I'm meeting, especially in our um, church community. It's, it's, I've just had such a transformation this past year, a couple years, but yeah. this past year especially, where that matters more to me than anything else. And I am going to continue down that path. And I'm very thankful too. Very, very thankful for that. And, and just like, you know, when I think about, I mean, this is devastating, you know, especially when you, I mean, regardless if you know the person or not, you know what I mean? It's, it's right. devastating. So just like how the world kind of comes together, you know, I'll never forget. I can see it right now. Bailey was two years old at 9-11 hit and the, the beauty through the ashes of the community and the world coming together, praying and helping physically and financially. Um, that was a beautiful thing. And so it, you know, to wake us up, I think, not to say that, you know, the the neighbors and all the families had to wake up from something, but I think for the people who witnessed such a tragedy, you know, were able to, to, to realign and go, gosh, you know, it's like, what are your priorities? And, mm -hmm. and to bring, I mean, when you drop all the facade, you drop the walls and the and the layers of hardness mm. and like, I'm right and you're wrong. This is true. This is not. Right. The, when you cut all that crap out of there, it's human beings loving other human beings, people, brothers and sisters coming together. And that's the way the world should work. And you know what? And we were just talking. This is why this is our motivating factor to do well and succeed in life. It's because of wanting to give. And I know Joyce Myers always says this too. She goes, people always say, when I get a million dollars, if I win the lottery, I'm going to go ahead and give you da, 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 da. She's like, you're not even giving me 10 cents. You know, you're, <laughs> where's my $10 tithing? You know what I mean? So we do get to give where we're at. Right. It doesn't have to be right. this grand scale of something because that might be an ego thing too. Right. You know what I mean? Right, so right. the anonymy of it, being anonymous, um, no, and being right. able to help because everything is seen. Everything does affect like a snowball effect. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah. The, Anyways, I'm just, I'm just so thankful, you know, that, um, and it's so funny because just the other day or yesterday, Aiden had posted on his story that he thanked God for another day of life. And I just thought, wow. Wow, that, really? Yeah. 
It was amazing. Wow, to to have that insight too at that young age, mm -hmm. you know? And then I reposted and said, I thank God, yeah, that you're here. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, we're... We're happy that you guys are, you know, here with us. Um, just, uh, yeah, today just seems to be a little bit of a hard day. And you know what? And it's okay. We can't always be happy and laughing and giggling. Right. You know? <laughs> so, anyways, we just wanted to say, you know, hug your family, love your sisters, and um, please keep everybody that has been affected by the fire in your heart and prayers. And even as we go on with our daily lives, you know, a week, two weeks, a month from now, everybody's moved on. Yeah. They're not. Yeah. I mean, every day now, the battle and everything, after the shock of everything, you know, you have to clean up. You have to move on. You have to start all over. Where do you even begin? Yeah. And um, this is where I want to pray daily for all of these families that are in need. Um, that's what we can do. And I know for a fact, I think we all do, that prayer is so powerful. It's so powerful. So, so, so powerful. Mm. And I'm just so thankful. So never, never forget that, yes, our little prayer, our heart and our giving, whatever amount, makes a huge difference. It does. So and we love you. We love you. And I love you. I love you too, babe. Thank you. Oh.